Hi guys, it's Jenny. I hope you're all doing okay, or as okay as can be expected. I know it's a really strange time for everyone right now, so I hope you're all managing okay and, um, and that your loved ones are healthy and safe. We're all okay here. Uh, we're on day two million of <laughs> self-isolation. I don't know, I've honestly lost track of the days. Um, it's been a long few weeks at home, and um, and I'm sure you guys can all relate to that. I do have a new book coming out, which is why I'm here. But I do want to tell you up front that it's weird talking about my new book. Um, I love talking about other people's books. I love talking about movies and TV shows and food and every other thing. But I, I feel funny about telling you about my new book. And in fairness, I probably would feel funny anyways, even if there wasn't a pandemic. Um, I'm always awkward talking about my stuff, but I'm especially feeling awkward about it now. Nevertheless, I do want to tell you about it because I am really proud of it. Uh, it's Little Secrets. It's my sixth psychological thriller, and um, it will be out on April 21st. This is the first book that I have written that does not have a serial killer in it. And if you've ever read my stuff before, you'll know that my first five books all have serial killers in it. That's kind of my thing. Um, but this one is different. This one probably is more of a domestic suspense than a true psych thriller. Um, but nevertheless, it's the scariest book that I've ever written because it is my worst nightmare, um, all written out and dissected. Uh, the book is about a 40-year-old woman, a uh, 40-something-year-old woman with a young child who's four, and she's shopping with him at Pike Place Market in Seattle. Pike Place is a huge farmer's market in Seattle, and it's always busy and it's always crowded. And um, she's with him there. She's distracted by something on her phone. And when she looks up a few seconds later, her little boy is gone. Um, as a parent, I can't think of anything scarier that could happen. Um, I have lost sight of my child for a few seconds, and it was the longest few seconds of my life until we found him again. Um, and I think a lot of parents can relate. Um, but unlike what happened with me, where we found my kid like three seconds later, um, Marin does not find her child that day. And uh, so basically her worst nightmare comes true. A year later, the story picks up with her in the aftermath of all of this. Uh, she's struggling with grief and depression and barely keeping her head above water. Um, she blames herself. She's full of guilt. And she then discovers her husband, um, the father of her child, who she's been with for 20 years, is having an affair with a much younger woman. And now her grief is sort of channeled into rage <laughs> um, because, you know, she doesn't know where her child is, but she knows who's sleeping with her husband. <laughs> so, uh, and also too, you know, um, it's possible that the kidnapping, which is what it turns out to be, um, not a spoiler, uh, may not be totally unrelated to the affair. So, Little Secrets will be out April 21st um, in hardcover in the U.S., trade paperback, which this is in Canada, and internationally, ebook and audio. And audiobooks are really working for me right now. They're helping me focus. So I do recommend trying audiobooks if you're having a hard time reading. So if you're looking for something to read um, while you're spending a lot of time at home, maybe give Little Secrets a try. Anyway, I hope you guys are okay, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.